That sound street fighter Woo! Hadouken. so welcome once again to heroes at large podcast this is another interview special edition so recently me and uh, nihai got to go out to fantasia comic-con we got to meet a couple of great people and we got two new interviews for you guys to listen to the first one i believe is going to be janisha adams guignard now she was in black panther she was one of the stunt doubles, and she was also part of the uh, Dora Milaje. Black Panther Forever, right? Yeah, she was a great interview. She's such a great person. I really hope if any of you guys get to uh, catch her at a convention, you need to go talk to her. She's such an amazing girl. Uh, we had the greatest time talking with her, and she just made the entire convention a great time. And after her, we got to speak with Peter Navy Tuasasopo. Uh, some of you might know him from Street Fighter, where he played E. Honda. That was a great role, by the way. I mean, he nails it. He actually first got his first role was in Necessary Roughness, where he played Manu Mana. His interview was was fantastic. He tells a great story. And if any of you get to meet him, if you ever get a chance to meet him, you need to go up and say hi to him. Greatest guy ever. Uh, it's one of the greatest things we love about going to these conventions is meeting real real people you know even though they've got celebrity status some of these people are so real and so down to earth we have a great time talking with them and so we hope you guys enjoy the interviews we got coming up for you guys here you go hey everybody this is avaz and this is nihai over here at heroes at large podcast and we are with janisha adams Guignard. yeah 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 what, what, what kind of forever <laughs> so, if you don't mind, tell everybody uh, what you've been up to in this past, what, two, three years? Mm, man, let's see. First of all, I've been living in my overflow. I'm saying overflow. <laughs> Thank God for Black Panther. Right. I was able to be one of the Dora Milaje, one of the main eight Dora Milaje. Yeah. yeah. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Wakanda. Yes, right over left, y'all, right over left. And I was able to also be the Koye stunt double in both uh, uh, Black Panther and Avengers. Oh, and Avengers too? Yeah, wow, Infinity War, awesome. yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, woo! Yeah. I'm in that MCU, y'all. Yeah, that's right, right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, te- technically, uh-huh. you, you still, I guess, in the universe. Like, yeah, in the universe. I mean, for, for those of you who haven't seen the movie, some people, some people. First of all, if you ain't seen the movie, I don't know what you're doing. The movie's right. been out for a while now. Yeah. And I, I told many, I, I told many of my friends, it's been two weeks. Come Friday, I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. We gonna only hold out. Right. Yeah. We're gonna hold out for so long now. Right. Catch up. Yeah. Go get yeah. that. First of all, get that Black Panther DVD. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> get that Black Panther DVD. Black Panthers. It's out on DVD. Yes. It's out on Blu-ray. Yes. Yeah. And then make sure you go see Avengers: Infinity War. Yeah, yes. definitely. Yeah. So what, I mean, what did you have more fun on? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, Black Panther was just like cinematic history, right? Sure. It was record-breaking. When I was shooting it, I knew it was a great movie. I didn't know it was going to do this well. I mean, right. you're shooting it, you know it's a yeah, good movie. Yeah, yeah. You know it's going to be good. How was the environment around the, when you were filming the movie? It was awesome. I mean, yeah. the energy, like... I love Michael B. Jordan. Like, he was the first person right. to give a swag. Like, oh, yeah. within, like, I don't right. know, like a month or two into shooting, he already had, like, hoodies. Oh, wow. And so, like, he gave us hoodies. I know it said Killmonger on it. Like, that yeah. was so cool. cool. And then just watching Ryan at work and just yeah. seeing his brain, like, think and process, yeah. that was just amazing, too. So, I mean, the energy was good, cool. Chad is funny, stays in character. He, he c- continues to, you know, communicate with the accent. So it was just, it was cool. Wow, yeah, awesome. it was good. Um, so let me ask you for, for both Marvel movies. I mean, mm-hmm. did you do any kind of training or did you even have to like maybe brush up on like the whole universe and like what all these characters are about or anything like that? I mean, what, what did you do to prepare 
for your something. work. Yeah. Yeah. So for I would say let's start with Panther. Because you kind of did like two different things. Really, yeah. Uh, for the movies. Yeah, but um, chronology, you know, Black Panther happened first, right? Right. Yeah. right. So to train for Panther, like I'm a stunt woman, so I have a stunts background mm -hmm. and yeah. taekwondo background. But in the movie, you see us using spears. Like, that was yeah, our weapons. Yeah, yeah. So we trained eight hours a day in both staff. Oh, wow. And that's how we prepared um, to learn how to fight with the spears so that we easily transition on camera. Right. So then you think about Avengers. You know, there wasn't any more, like, rushing up. It was more of, like, now we're, like, expanding the skills that we already had. Oh, like, okay. if you notice, so like... no longer just solo staff work. Yeah, like, like... You kind of bring in everything, you know? Yeah, you kind of, like, used everything. Like, you know, you used your bow staff, and then there was some kicks here, there was some yeah, kicks right. there, but you notice the action increased in Avengers. Yeah. You know, Panther yeah. was great, and then it was just more action on, on Avengers. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, it, it was... It was a war. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, I would say just, you know, the bow staff, that training came first, and then we just used those same skills, and they got to shine a little more in, in Avengers. Yeah. As far as like the action, yeah. What um besides Black Panther, uh -huh. you know, and Avengers and the stuff that you've done recently, can you tell me like what has been I guess some of your high moments in your career? I would definitely say one of the high moments was me working on the final season of True Blood. Okay. Um that was a huge blessing because that kind of sparked my increase in TV stunt work. Like, I started off in this industry as an actress and then transitioned over into stunts because I was just an athlete. That's what I did. But um, I started doing commercials. Like, that was the first thing that I did. Oh, wow. So when I got on True Blood and I was doing stunts over there, it, it just... it ignited my okay. stunt career for TV shows. Oh, wow. Yeah, so okay. I definitely have to use True Blood and, and um, yeah, because that just, that started, that's like, a, yeah, yeah, it started yeah, picking yeah. up, you know, I started picking up more. I started doing some Disney shows. I did some stunts on, and I did, oh, okay. you know, NCIS, oh, wow. and okay. I did um, Secrets and Lies. So I was oh, doing yeah. some pretty good, right yeah, I was doing right? stunts on the shows outside of, yeah. like, the commercials I had did, like, for Toyota. I was driving a car and doing some stunts on that. So definitely I would say one of the highlights would be the True Blood because it kind of, like, started the more doors yes right. doors doors were opening right. and then cool. definitely black panther um this cool. really i didn't know avengers was going to come from it i didn't right. find that out until maybe like halfway while we through our shooting schedule they were like hey you know what you guys the doors are supposed to go over to avengers i'm like what what that was yeah. like icing on the cake i'm like that yeah. was blessings yeah. overflowing i had no idea and then another highlight would be from while I was on Avengers being told, hey, you know, you're going to go work over on Godzilla. Whoa. So I got, to, I got to go over and work on Godzilla King of Monsters, which doesn't Whoa. even come out until That's 2019. Sport is for everybody. Sport is for everybody. Yeah, yeah, 2019. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. So yeah. 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 Um, so just the Lord is like truly blessing me. Do you mind if I ask what, what work did you do on Godzilla? I mean, were you, just do, were you just doing stunts or were you having a part? I was doing stunts. I was one of the... G team members. Mm -hmm. I think it I think it's actually called G team or stunt G team yeah. or whatever. And then I got to double Aisha Hines. Oh, okay. Which is oh I just love her to death. Yeah. I love her to death. She's a great actress. Um she was Harry Tubman on Underground. I don't know if you guys yeah. ever watched that. She's on Shots Fired. She's also Hen on Fox's new show Nine One One. Oh okay. so I work yeah. over there too. So yeah, I just love her. Yeah. She's like amazing. That's a great show too. Yes. Yeah, love it. I love that yes, show. Yes, that show is great. I'm, I'm gonna so kick real. out and it's that, real life story. That yeah. one, um, the full moon episode. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think that, that was, was about so Arma. Yeah, Arma. Yeah. 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 She's almost like excited too. Like you just, oh, what's gonna happen? Like, yeah. Oh, good. I love yeah. that show. Yeah, that show's oh, great. Show. Yeah. Are you um? So are you still doing work on that show too? Mm-hmm. We're on a little bit of a hiatus right now. Right. We ended season one already. I think we. Yeah, it was kind of short, I think. It was yeah. 10 episodes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you're going to have a season two, you're going to have a 
too. Oh yeah, they already. I think in January they announced it was going to be. Okay. I think. Don't quote me, but I remember I read it. It had already been greenlit for season two. Awesome. So season two is supposed to start. I think we start shooting in like July or something. Is what I saw. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. So, um, convention wise, have you done many conventions? I have. Um, I love Comic Cons. Like I really do. Like I'm very social, so I like, I talk a lot. I like to hug people. I like to talk, shake hands, find out who, yeah. who I'm talking to, what's your name. Yeah. Um, so I just actually got back from Arctic Comic Con in Alaska. Oh wow! And okay. it was, what was that? Oh my God! It was great. It was so <laughs> great. It was so much fun. Oh, it was so awesome. much fun. I've never. I'm, Alaska has the nicest people. I've been yeah. around this world, and I tell you. The nicest people are in Alaska. Weather, weather wise, cold. Oh, it's cold as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I, I don't think I packed properly yeah, at all. Right? Yeah. But they have the nicest people there. It was cold when I was there. It rained. It snowed. It held a little. Oh, wow. Yes, but I had some of the best water on the planet. Oh yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's nothing but pure. Oh yeah. my God, it was so good. That's awesome. Yeah. Better than Wakanda water. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, yes, yes. It was, it was good. It was, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you have any questions? Uh, I just listen to it. It's an amazing person right here. Oh, thanks. All right. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time out and asking our little questions yeah. for our, our little group. Um, um, I'm sure all our fans are going to be like, she's so cool, because she oh, is. She's really I awesome. I am. We, C double O L. Right. So, guys, keep an eye out. If you ever get a chance to meet Janisha at uh, any conventions near yeah, you. I can tell you all my schedule. <laughs> yeah, you want to go ahead. Okay, go ahead. so right now I'm at Fantasia Comic Con in Indio. Right. And then in, I want to say in a couple weeks, either two or three weeks, I think it's three, I will be in Vancouver. Okay. Uh, Vancouver Island, to be exact, at Vancouver Isle Comic Con in wow. Canada. And then I go to Salt City Comic Con in Syracuse, New York. Wow. Mm-hmm. And then I'll be in Blurred, at Blurred Con in oh. Washington, D.C. Yeah. That's coming up. I also later this year will be at the Santa Fe Comic Con in New Mexico. I will be at Toy Expo in Santa Clara. Oh, wow. And I'm very blessed and happy to say that I will be at the Dublin Comic Con in Ireland. The Baltics Comic Con in Lithuania. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're and, way. Yeah. And, 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 before. and please, Hasbro, make a figure of her. Yes, make a figure. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Make sure it has my face yeah. and my facial tattoo. Yeah. That means the tattoo over the right side of the face. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Big thank you to Orlando over at Fantasia Comic Con for yes. giving us this opportunity. Awesome. We appreciate it. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have been able to meet you. Absolutely, yeah. So, yeah. Shout out to Orlando. Yeah, we thank everybody over at the Fantasia Comic Con team. And thank you so much for taking the time out. We yeah, really appreciate thank it. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Thank All you. All right. See you guys. Yes, Wakanda forever. Wakanda. <laughs> And Heroes, Heroes at Large podcast, and we're here with Peter Navy. Let me go ahead and say your name. I don't want to mess it up. Tuyas Asoka. There you go. You heard it. You heard it. You heard it. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you who 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 have seen Street Fighter, E Honda, uh, Necessary Roughness. So, Peter, tell me, like, like out of your whole career, what do you think are like some of the highlights? Like, just personally for you, what was it memories that you made that to you was like, I'll never forget this. I, I, um, you know, the, uh, uh, Street Fighter, uh, off the video game is definitely a highlight, um, because I was a fan first, number one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, all of us were. Yeah. All of us were. We all grew up on that, and, and, um, so being a fan of the game first and then being offered the role to play Honda. And who don't want to be like, you know, <laughs> you know, throwing the cards? That's right, bro. <laughs> So, so you know, with that, it's like I, I couldn't have been more happier. Even on the, I would have did it for free. That movie, you know, I was so excited to have gotten the role. So that that, that was definitely a highlight. Necessary Roughness was the other football classic movie. Yeah. Uh, that's man. That, we just had a guy just walk by. He just said, "I just watched it right. two yeah. weeks ago," because Necessary Roughness and Street Fighter are constant running reruns all the time on TV. And you know the way TV is now with a, a million channels. Oh, yeah. 
you can find one of your favorites somewhere on, on, on those channels. Yeah. Stop and watch. <laughs> yeah, 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 isn't that funny? That's a funny thing because like even with this same roughness, that's one of those movies. At least for me, if it comes on, I'm like, all right, I gotta sit down and watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it what is mean? too sweet of you, man. It's funny, bro. Because yeah. uh, friends of mine will text me, right, too. I'm sitting there watching that same roughness again, right? And I go, bro, you got too much time. I ain't it, bro. He's going, it's a good movie. I could turn there, bro, right? Yeah. I go right on, but guys say it all the time. Guys, I go to meetings now, current meetings. Uh, um, somebody, and you know, I'm sure other actors that come in, they'll name their favorites on the guy. But they, they, they'll uh, right away be like, dude. Well, we knew E-Honda was coming to the meeting, man. We, you know what I mean? Yeah. We needed you to be in this movie, right? Or, man, bro, necessary roughness. I was in, you know, I was in college. That movie came out. It's just such a, you know. A, a, the movies, they, ever, they, they hit people yeah. to totally. that part. Yeah. I, I agree with you, bro. Yeah. And, and they're, uh, I remember Scott Bakula. Yeah. Yeah. Him. Scott Bakula. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Point of leap. And he played Mr. Blake. He played Blake, the quarterback. Yeah. So Scott at the premiere uh, of Necessary Roughness, by the way, that was my first gig, bro. Yeah. That was my first movie. But that was his big movie too. And that was his yeah. breakout because he was always Quantum Leap. Yeah. yeah. Necessary Roughness, you're right. Was Scott Bakula's breakout movie to go into film. Yeah. So he was trying yeah. to cross over, yeah. you know. Had a great, great run with Quantum Leap, and uh, um, crossed over with the film with Necessary Roughness. Yeah, that was, it was his original, his, his initial. So. Uh, we're at the premiere, we're walking out, he puts his arm around me, and he goes, man, Pete, he goes, great job. He goes, this movie will be a, a classic, right? And inside, when you hear those lines, yeah, you're like, oh, yeah, like, you know, you're like, 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 but you know, exactly, yeah, right? You probably say this on every, you probably say this to every actor, yeah. you know, I'm the new guy, mind you, yeah. but I'm a realist as well, guys, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm a, you know what I mean? I was born at night, not last you night, you know what I mean? You're right, right. <laughs> exactly. And you, you got to protect yeah. it. So anyway, inside, I kind of took it, you know, it's so Scott Bakula. Yeah. I'm impressed that I even got to work with him. Yeah. But inside, I was like, oh, brother, another yeah. another cliche line. You guys probably all say, no, man. Uh, and then I see him years later. We had an uh, interview for the 20-year uh, or a 10-year interview of the... Uh, of the success of this or Roughness. Yeah. And anyway, we all met up for a, a, a live interview. Scott was there. And I told him, man, you were right. And he was going, I told you. Yeah. Yeah. He, and crazy. the reason he said, I, I asked him, why did you say that? Yeah. You know what he said? Uh, the movie's clean enough. It's funny enough. And, it, and it's timeless. It'll be timeless, bro. Everyone will relate to that, you know, the the David and Goliath story of sports. Remember, our team was, oh, yeah. we were, we were punching back till the end. Yep. You know, we rose and beat the big team, you know, yep. he was going, so it's clean enough and it's a good enough story, man, and it'll last. And I'm like thinking, he was, he was right. Yeah, bro. You know, that's really crazy. And he was right, bro. He was yeah. right. Were you ever wanted to see him as a remake? Uh, oh, man, I, I, I was hoping, uh, because all the actors, it's funny, you know, producers, they, yeah. Yeah. they'll say certain things. So there was already a two in line. And yeah, there was a two in line. And then I think after three years went by, um, and, you know, I would could contact the producers. Yeah. I don't think, I just kind of, you know, everybody's yeah. working. They're building up big things and yeah. Yeah. other projects. So that producing company uh, uh, at Paramount, they were just uh, probably just lost the, the feel for it. But it would have been, I, I would have loved it, man. That would have been cool. Then, years cool. later, I was hoping for a, uh, um, I was hoping for a, uh, uh, maybe a reunion type, but maybe we could, uh, some of us just would have been coaches, the coaches oh, of the new team, yeah. and have characters similar, yeah. similar right to our, so yeah, right down, <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> exactly, bro, that's what my thought would have been, because yeah. everybody would have related, they were like, well, man, that's so so that was so so if, if they do remit it, who would you want to play you? Or who would you want yeah, to replace you? The, the younger version? Oh, wow, bro, there's, <laughs> I would want... I would definitely want a Polynesian actor, okay. a Samoan actor, okay. or a Polynesian actor. Yeah. Definitely for that role. Uh, real, real quick, great question. So that role, that that story came out. They did. Let me tell you, let me tell you how amazing this was. It's my, remember my first gig. So I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, 
I'm barely in, in the business. So they go to Hawaii, the production. They had a two-week open casting call. You know what that is? Oh, yeah. You basically open the doors to anyone yeah. hoping to find this character. Right. In Hawaii, bro. <laughs> they got millions of guys that look like me, better looking, better talented, all that good stuff. Yeah. WWF, right? Uh, uh, all those wrestlers yeah, they came were, in for that. Yeah. They were in Hawaii. Wow. They still came to that audition. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of those guys. The big guy. Remember, yeah. it was a big guy role. A yeah. bunch of those guys. This is came with the producer that told me. So they're telling me, man, we're in Hawaii two weeks. Open cast call. We've seen dozens, hundreds of guys. Yeah. Perfect guys like you. Appearance, body, everything, man. Open their mouth, couldn't act a lick, man, right? Really? They're telling me. Then in Hawaii, remember that pigeon talk? Yeah. They had that, what's up, brother? Yeah. Hey, Shaka Cuz. Yeah, so, and that's, I'm, I'm talking about respecting that, the pigeon talk. It just didn't work for a film. It yeah. couldn't have. Yeah. You're, you're going to lose your whole audience yeah. Yeah. if you have a character and you're like, what did he say? Yeah. You know? So, anyway, so we've seen hundreds for two weeks. So we're flying back. Now we're talking to the writers, the creators, uh, uh, Dave, uh, and I forgot, Dave and Phil. So anyway, these two out of Chicago, they says, man, we, we love it. We said, They're already green light. We got to change that character to another ethnicity. They're thinking, yeah, bro, trick this. You know Hollywood. We got to change it. We got to change it to another ethnicity. Just so they can find uh, yeah. yeah. Man, Dave. And it's harder. It won't work, right? They said it won't work. They said that character was a small character from the beginning, and you already know the impact of small and athletes that are in football now, college and yeah. and pro levels. Yeah. He was going, man. So they wrote it, man. No way, man. They're they're fighting. They're fighting with the producers, man. Wow. The producers are literally like, dude, we 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 change it this thing, or we get that character out of that storyline. He goes, you cut that out of the storyline, you have no story, you know? Yeah. He was going, man, we need Manu Mata. Remember, Manu Mata, the yeah. So anyway, bro, long story short, they come back, they finish there, they're getting discouraged. Now they're back in L.A. Wow. Last, one, another call, that open call yeah. for that character. An uncle of mine, longtime stuntman, Baba Pisa, is a, in the business. Long time veteran man, stuntman. So he calls calls me up, knows I just get in, and uh, he goes, man, go down to Paramount Studios, boom, 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 and uh, audition for this role. It's a football movie. That's what he tells me. Yeah. Hey, man, go down there and play some football for a couple <laughs> hey. months and get paid. Yeah. So I'm thinking, cool. Yeah. He didn't tell me it was an actual role, a wow. character. So I go, I'm not thinking nothing. You're going to love the story. I tell it all the time. Hilarious. I come in the waiting room, right, yeah. of the Paramount Studios. And I go to check in, and uh, um, I don't even have a, uh, I don't even have an appointment. Mind you, there's no thing in Hollywood crash. You, you crash the call. Basically, oh, yeah. me and you, yeah, yeah. you just show up. Show up. Yeah, I'd yeah. be like, yeah, oh man, my agent called me. <laughs> and they're normally like, oh, come on in. Right. Since 9/11, you know what I mean? All yeah. that stuff yeah. gone because of you know, you just get too many weirdos right. in there yeah. that could just walk right in. Oh yeah. You know, which, which, rightfully, you know what I mean? Yeah. Rightfully, it, it had to be done. So anyway, bro, I go in the lobby. Yeah, you, you had a picture of this guy. So yeah. Okay. How you know, man? Black guys, uh, Mexican guys, oh, white guys, yeah. big guys, uh, Asian guys, right? Every ethnicity group. I had to laugh, bro. Had to have been 50 in that room with the wine shirts on. Oh, <laughs> right? Here I walk in with a T-shirt, jean shorts, bro, and some some Jordans on, right? I look over there because I'm already an island boy. I start laughing like, oh, brother, right? But, you know, and they all, I remember they kind of like, what? like only, only Polynesian, only Simone in the room. So I come in, I'm like, oh, that's serious? You know, I didn't think, well, you know, I'm, I'm new to the business. I wore what I like wearing, shorts and a T-shirt. I come in there and I go, how you doing? I had an uh, I just got in. My, my agent called me. It kind of didn't really hear the, they gave me the address. What's your name? And she's like, oh, no, I ain't got your name. She goes like this, hold on. Hold on. They were already in session. So the, it was the uh, assistant, the assistant to the casting director, Mindy Barrett. So the girl goes in the, in the session. Yeah. 
Walks right in, comes out. I see the director stick his head out, stands mm-hmm. around him. Stuck his head out, closed the door. You know, obviously the girl goes in, I don't know what she said. You gotta see this guy, right? Yeah. You know, good. remember what they've been doing. And it, it's oh, later in the day. You were the black sheep yeah. in the whole yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, you know what I mean? The 800 pound gorilla in the room, right? right. Uh, 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 and it was cute, man, because now that I realize. So I remember that. I, it, was, it was just like that. I'm not exaggerating. Peeked out and shut the door. The girl came out, sign in, right? And I go, oh, you know, thanks. And uh, um, those guys see that happen too. So when they see the drug can peek out, so I could kind of feel not, you know, nothing real big, I thought, but I seen every, you know, remember it's quiet. So when that door opened, everybody looked over there. So the guy looks at me, and then the girl comes out, she goes, sign in. So they were like, man, what's going on anyway? I sign in. She goes, you know the role you're here for, right? And I go, uh, play some football. Yeah. <laughs> play some football, right? Yeah. And she's like going, no. You know, this is like fourth lead in this movie. Do you understand that, right? And I go, uh, no, I don't, right? <laughs> and I go, man, mind you, I don't even got, I don't, I don't even got an agent. My uncle called me. And I go, I, I got the message. I didn't really hear all that information. But uh, uh, she goes, no problem. Here's the script. And uh, oh, wow. she tells me the page is 34, whatever, 44, and uh, uh, highlight all the character right. those those from those pages. So I'm like, oh my God. I'm nervous, man. <laughs> so I go like this. I'm a man. I go, how much time do I have? She goes, oh man, because I'm last. I'm not behind these guys. She goes, oh, you got an easy hour. You got an easy hour. Great, thank you. I go in the bathroom, guys. <laughs> I go to the outside bathroom down the hallway, I go into one of those stalls, I'm like, what the fuck, right? I open that script, I'm sitting on the toilet there, I'm like, I'm highlighting this character. Dialogue, bro. I'm like, man, bro, I just take that whole hour, bro. Take the whole hour, peek back in the room, still like 17 guys left, man. I go, take your time. Go back in the bathroom, bro. I'm studying. Yeah. I remember, I'm a new yeah. actor, bro. Yeah. But I'm like you guys. We're educated. We know how to read, thank God. Yeah. I can read. I watch enough TV and movies. Yeah, there you go. Try to act like you know what you right. Put yeah. it all together. Thank you. Yeah. And that, that that that's really the gist of my my whole start in this business. I go in the room now. Now mind you, here's the shocker. <laughs> so I'm last. Here's the shocker. So I come <laughs> in, bro. And the girl goes, "You ready, Pete?" I go, "I'm ready." Remember, she came up the room. I do not know what's going on in that room. Bro. Right. Yeah, yeah. I know you're reading for the director. Yeah. The director reads set out. I'm sure the casting director is in there and whoever else. Nah, man. Yeah. I go in there, bro. They have full camera, lights, facing a background, a backdrop. You're standing there doing it. You have the director, cast director. You had about 10, 12 producers all on, on the back tables sitting there, like, you know, yeah. like this. Yeah. Right? Remember, I'm walking in there, bro, it was... I just want to play football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to say that, bro. I'm like, man, how you doing, man? I come in there, but I get a nice, you know, how you doing? I can see everyone in the bag, bro. Anyway, I read. And, I, uh, uh, you know, of course, I'm holding the script. I'm reading, trying to act while I can, you know, whatever I can do. Closing, man, man. Hey, great job, Peter. You know, all right, guys, thanks. Thanks for having me. Man, I honestly, the back table, what I realize now, yeah. all these years that I've been here, uh, I realize, because everybody's like this, in the back, on the back table, and I said, oh, I suck, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I said, but, remember, they've been doing that session all day. Yeah. Yeah, so they're just tired. They're just tired. They may have all, when I left, they're like, man, dude, weren't you get to at last? And no, so long story short, right? Yeah, I, you I, know, they're probably mad. <laughs> Why are you just doing this? Where did this guy come from, right? Yeah. Where did they, and it was told in the story. So I leave, I leave and close that door, tell the assistant, thank you. Hey, thanks, appreciate it. When I'm walking to the elevator, inside I'm going, you suck. <laughs> I go, that, that's over. Yeah. I'm walking to the elevator. I, I hear someone running down from the room, yeah. catching me down the hallway to the elevator. The director. Right? Uh, and I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm tripping. Director, true story, jog down, stand for God. Peter, man, walking me to the elevator. He goes, great job, man. It was a Friday. He goes, man, let me tell you, this is when I know you. I was an actor. 
I didn't have nowhere to go, bro. And I, he goes like this, are you going anywhere this weekend? And I go, <laughs> <laughs> true story, guys. I go, no, Vegas is next weekend. So true, bro, I brought, I'm free. I, I'm free. I, I want to be free because I want this job. I still fully, and I laugh at that story because I literally did that, bro. Wow, and I yeah. tell people when I tell people interviews, I'm gonna have to stay at line for this. Yeah, bro. Oh, no I had nothing, bro. I had nothing to do, bro. Yeah. And I still did him like, <laughs> oh no, no, Vegas is next weekend, right? Like I have a Vegas yeah, trip, yeah, right? Yeah. And he goes, great, because we want to see you Monday, right? Yeah. And I go like this, awesome, sure, sure. He was going, man, we'll call you and then set up the appointment. And I was going, thanks, thanks, Dan. So Stan went back. And so I get on, mind you, little excited, little excited, but not, you know, I'm a realist, guys. Like I'm saying, I'm a realist. Yeah. So I'm driving home, my wife, man, babe, how'd it go? I go, the director walked me to the elevator, right? You know, that was why. She goes, what does that mean, right? And I go, yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, 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 I go, I don't know what it means, babe. And then he didn't sign yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. So she goes, well, good, babe. How'd you feel? I go, I thought I sucked. Right? I go, man, babe, I can go tell a story. Shoot. Well, okay, then you got freaking 20 people behind all the lights and the cameras pointing at me. And I'm like, damn. You know, this is shock. Monday comes. I go back there and test screen. I don't even know what test screen is, bro. They go, yeah, we want to take this test screen. Test for you now, you're going on film, you know, doing the audition, and now all the producer and execs on that project are watching this, you know? So, I test screen Monday, and then uh, Tuesday, uh, I get a call, man, test screen went well. So, now they went quotes, money quotes, with my uncle. He was representing me for that film. <laughs> it's a great story. Wednesday. I love it, man. This story never gets tired. Wednesday, we're going to church. So, Wednesday night service. Uh, remember, hey, no cell phones. They got no cell phones in 92. You know? So, we got a pager and all that, but uh, my, my wife and kids just went in the car. I, I come out. I'm, I'm last out, locking the door. Phone rings, right? So, you know, church at 7. So, you know, whatever, 645, 630. And I'm like, you know, I'm thinking, well, that's a machine. Yeah. That's the answer machine. I'm with the egg. I look at that call ID. It's A18, you know, Hollywood. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like hello? Uh, oh, oh, so Monday, my test came. Mindy Mayer, the casting director, they really like you being like, oh, I hope so, Mindy. I hope so. She's going, she's going, one, 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 one problem. All right, one thing. I want to know if, uh, uh, I want to know if, uh, uh, are you SAG? Are you screen yeah, yeah. SAG member, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I go, yes. She goes, great. Right? Right? <laughs> Again, Hollywood. <laughs> That's about sad and you know what SAG was, bro. She goes, you're SAG, right? I go, yes. Yes, right? <laughs> right? I get it. Calls me Wednesday. Yeah. Pete, it's Mindy. Hey, Mindy. You know how you doing? And she goes, uh, uh, I go, great. She goes, oh my gosh, Pete. I can hear her voice. She goes, good news and bad news. I go like this. Damn. She goes, what you want first? And I go like this. I'll take the good news first. Yeah. And she goes like this. You got the part. Man, bro, you know, inside that, that, man, this is. Yeah. So I'm like going, really, really. I don't know if this guy's coming back. I'm going to back up. Okay. He said he wanted Oh he man, bro! Draw for you to sign. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, did you just do this? Yeah. Thanks, bro. But I don't. I haven't seen him. So. No, that was me. Was it you? Oh yeah, 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 yeah he no, went. I, I wanted you to do it so he can have it. Sweet, bro. Oh yeah, you were gonna hand me the books. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know why I thought you were bald for a second. I was like, <laughs> well, there you it's go. A long, it's a long day, dude. Thanks, bro. Yeah. yeah. You out? I'm. I'm about to. I'll check you in a minute, man. I'm gonna finish this podcast. All right, bro. No way. That was Ryan Kincaid, my good friend, artist, man, rudely interrupted us anyway. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> thanks, Ryan. So, anyway, uh, um, that was the good news. And, and she was going like this, man. I go, man, the bad news. The bad news is you're not SAG. And I go, 
So that means I don't get the, she's going, no, that don't mean you don't get the job. Yeah. It just means <laughs> negotiations are harder because you weren't sad. She goes, but here's what we got. Yeah. Right, it's 1991, 91, 92. She goes, so we really fought for you, Pete, because it was a lead, one of the leads. Right? So I do, again, I go Hollywood. She goes like this. <laughs> you guys are going to you. You know money, bro. Yeah. She goes like this, man. So for every week, we got you 5700 $5, right? Yeah. $5,700 a week, $500 per diem a week, right? Wow. $5,700 a week. I don't know about her, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She says, we only can get yeah. $5,700 a week. You know what I say? I feel you inside. I'm like, but I still again. <laughs> ching, 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 ching. I'm tripped. I go, did you say 57 yeah. a week or a month? She goes, yeah, Pete, God, we fought. We fought. And they would not give it up, you know, the production. Because you weren't, you weren't sad. Yeah. And I go, oh, man, Mindy, hey, hey, that's all right. It's on. I'm like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, 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 and the 500 per diem, right? Yeah. Mind you, the 500 per diem, you know what per diem is. No, what's the... Uh, per diem is the cash money they give you for your, whatever, your E oh, or whatever yeah. things you need. Yeah, it's just cash up, bro. Wow. Amen. Yeah. Mind you, I knew about it, never got, never had a job that gave me per diem. Yeah. So I'm kind of aware of what per diem is. So the 500, mind you, your 5,700, 500 is side. Yeah. But it's straight cash. Yeah. You cash, bro. Pocket money. So, laundry, you need dinner yeah, later. Yeah. You have to go get some stuff from the store. Yeah. It's in your pocket, bro. Well, who the hell spends 500 a week, bro, on junk, yeah, right? Really. Well, I don't know, maybe. So, anyway, bro. <laughs> yeah, right. Back then, bro. 500 a week. So, anyway, man. So, I'm like, I'm still, I, I can't even wrap my brain around that thing. So, I'm like, oh, cool. So, she goes, man. So, anyway, you're going to get Taff Hartley. Taff Hartley is your other way, membership wise, that's a contractual agreement. Where because I didn't do I ain't a SAG member yeah. because the role is a lead role automatically qualifies. Me. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, that's what so, I was thinking too. Yeah, I was exactly. Like, I, I How can you? That once you get a role, you like pretty much right away. Right in. When you get a role, you're right in. Yeah. If it's a role. Yeah, yeah. The extra stuff, things like that, yeah. that doesn't get you. But you're right. So for Tab, I don't even. She's talking so fast. I'm not even understanding. You're probably still here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I forgot even the 500. Oh, I thought it was a 50-cent yeah. So you're going to love the rest of the story anyway, bro. So I go, my, my, my wife, now I hear the, the horn, beep, beep. So I come out, man, I wife, two daughters on the phone. And I come out, I sit in the car, I'm like, I go, babe, man. She goes, what? What took you so? I go, man, uh, uh, Paramount called. Uh, and she goes, what happened? I go, we got the job. She's like, now she says, man, no, I just don't hear the numbers there. Right, yeah. I go, man, man, and it's, it pays all right. <laughs> it pays all right, but they wanted to give me more. But, man, I'm not I'm not a SAG member. Yeah. But so they, the best they could do is $5,700 a week, right? She did like me, yeah. but I didn't say it out loud, right? Yeah, yeah. She goes, a, a what? <laughs> right? A what, she said. Yeah. I go, a week. She goes, hey, five thousand seven hundred dollars a week. I go a week, yeah. right? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Same believe it. Yeah. You sure? <laughs> you sure you heard that right? I go trust me. Yeah. Yeah. I heard it nice and clear. Anyway, get it. Hey man, what just happened? I leave. I never you know then. So when I got the job, there was three week gap before I leave to Texas in April, and um. Uh, Mind you, you know, I think college football, yeah. I think, uh, man, I hope the other actor I got a room with, you know what I mean? I think, in my mind, I got a room with, I hope he ain't yeah. kid, you know, yeah. right, bro, no asshole, so, you know, not realizing you're, so everything's first class, first class fare, first class room, yeah. your own room, you know, yeah. your own room, yeah. yeah, but I'm thinking, who do I have? So, I leave, I leave my ATM card, you know, that small young family. Leave my card, my I go on leave at my regular job. I tell my wife hey, I'm leaving everything. I took, I promise you guys, I took five dollars, bro, cash. Left everything. You know, my wife, kids. I took five dollars cash from my wallet, right? And I leave. I'm thinking they'll have food on set, which they, 
more food than you can ever imagine. Yeah. And, uh, so I go down to text and I check in. And the, the writers, creators, take me to dinner that first night. Uh, I come in, there's a big welcome basket on the bed. You, you've seen the welcome basket, you know. Yeah. yeah. I promise you. Like, and I've never got it yet, ever. <laughs> I don't know, it's just because it's the first. I've gotten the regular basket. Not this basket, bro. Wow. It had to be the size of this table, bro. Yeah. I promise you guys. It had to have been like this. No, normally, uh, in some of the big ones, you have a bottle of wine, cheese, yeah. crackers. This thing had three bottles of wine, right, bro? Fruit. Not just fruit, bro. It had whole pineapples, bro. It had whole pineapples in the right. Oranges. Whole fruits, bro. It tripped tri me out, bro. Now I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, damn. You see the card on it? Man, happy. So happy you're here. Um, the riders call me. We want to take you to dinner. So I call the riders, take me to dinner. I want to get in. And then we go to dinner, and they're smiling. They're going, dude, dude. We just, you don't even know. Then they told me the story of yeah, what it yeah, took. Man. Then they were trying to uh, just cancel that old character. Yeah. But there was no way. So they told me, you know what's crazy, Pete? So all of that, the day you came in, all the producers were looking around. Okay, so we've been traveling to find this character. Go to Hawaii a couple weeks, yeah. open Casco, and he's in our backyard. You know? Wow. Yeah, and they, they're all like, yeah, basically, yeah. the guy was right here. He lives right here. And uh, first gig, they said it's the first gig. Anyway, a miracle story, guys. It's wonderful, man. I'm telling you. And uh, real quick, the per diem. My oh, yeah, yeah. So, two, three weeks go by. I still got my five dollars, right? Yeah, yeah. I had my all my, you know, my shaving bag and all that good stuff, and my clothes. But I ain't going shopping or nothing like that. We're guys, you know. So it's summer freaking in Texas. So I'm, I'm, uh, I got my five dollars in my wallet, but there's so much food. Remember, guy, we're regular guys, bro. Look at me. Yeah. Dinner before I'm getting off late afternoon. I'm bagging. <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah. Look at me, hot, bro. I, I ain't proud. I'm taking all this good food. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting it in those to-go plates. I'm sticking it into my trailer. It's good food. Yeah. So like, it's not Why like would it's good it's food? Yeah. yeah. Wait. Nobody's eating that food, bro. That salad bar that's there. I'm loading these every day, bro. <laughs> Not saying anything to anybody. You know, stick it into my, my workout bag. <laughs> Even though you, you just, you couldn't just turn to anybody and be like, I'm the smoke. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Guys, real, real soft. Go to my room, has a fridge. Yeah. Go to my room, have sticking those plates in there. Yeah. Eating dinner later on that yeah. night. Now, I ain't going out, bro. Or DM, you guys are going to, it's going to crack you guys up. So me, true story. Oh, who's my next door neighbor in, in uh, um, uh, my room? Jason Bateman, right? Oh, wow. So Jason Bateman, we're good yeah. friends. Uh, Jason Bateman's my next door neighbor. So we become instant friends, right? He's, he's, um, he being his door, me and his room had that joining door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now, you know, now that we meet and we're friends. So first way he's dying on the door. And, uh, uh, man, I so open the door. He's walking in there with his underwear and stuff, you know, coming. Because I had a fridge. He goes, how do I not got a fucking fridge? You got a fridge, right? I go, man, call, call them. They'll give you a fridge, right? Yeah. He's going, damn it, you know. So he walks in uh, a few days in the first week. Remember that fruit basket? I barely, I didn't even touch it. Yeah. And matter of fact, I had to actually get rid of it because of the fruit flash started. Oh, to, really? I couldn't have ate all that, bro. So I took the wine out and the wrap stuff. Yeah. Just took the basket. <laughs> bro. <laughs> so anyway, Jason, when he walked in in the first week, man, that basket, I had two beds in the room. That basket was still on the other bed. And, he, and Jason baby came in like, what the F? Right? Yeah. Right? And I'm saying to myself, we all got it, all the actors. I'm like, shut up, man. I, and he goes, I didn't get that shit, right? Yeah. And I go, shut up, man. And he goes, like, but, you know, I understood it. You know, Jason's already been established. Yeah. I was that character where they were like to. Yeah. So the riders, man, Dave, man, his partner, such a sweet, yeah, man. yeah. Wow. So three weeks go by, guys. That's three per diem. So how much is that? Fifteen hundred, right, guys? Fifteen hundred. Uh, um, I thought of per diem at the time. I didn't know where to go, right? And I didn't want to sound like a. Mind you, I never acted. Yeah. I watched all the other guys. You know what I mean? how they moved or how they went yeah. about there. And I, so I'm, I'm just copying everybody. 
and then you know doing my best knacking which thank god i pulled it off yeah. so man bro true story man me jason Bayman, and sinbad oh, no sinbad yeah. sitting on our chairs one morning at work we're climbing uh sinbad's clowning again me and jason Bayman are busting yeah. up, laughing and i see the girl this girl with little you know book and envelopes yeah. peter peter and i was going hey I do. She's like, yeah, yeah, Cynthia from uh, payroll. She go, man, you never went and got your per diem, right? Yeah. And I was going like, oh man, I forgot <laughs> Hollywood, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go, man, she, I'm sorry. She goes like this, if you want, we can bring it to set every week. And I go, would you do that, right? Because yeah, yeah. Jason, those guys get it that way. I didn't know. And I go, I would love that. She's going, yeah. So I bought your other ones here. She gives me four per diems, right? Three that already already passed. Four per diems, bro. Right? Yeah. $2,000, right? She goes, just sign here. Right? Uh -huh. Jason Bateman, they're already looking at me. So I get this, this cash, right? Five in each envelope. And I go, thank I'm playing it off right now. Yeah, right. Thanks, yeah, honey. Yeah. Thanks, honey. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. Yeah, every day, day. Yeah. So I take it, man. I get to my acting chair. Mm. And I throw it in that pocket. I, you know, that probably get everyone, there's a lot of people on that set, but I didn't, I had football gear on. Oh, yeah. So I threw it in my pocket, but you know, before I left that child, I was going to go to my trailer, drop it in my bag. Yeah. So, man. So Jason, and Jason's looking at me, Jason, baby. He goes, hey, big man, you know what I mean? You don't want to pick up your per diem, right? You don't want to pick up your per diem. If you're that rich, I'll take that money back. <laughs> and I was going, shut up, you know. Just climbing, the same guy's going, yeah, right. you ain't going to pick up your per diem for three weeks? You know, and, and, and they were both laughing because they've been around. They go, that's the first thing you pick up, bro. I go, I know, I know. Yeah. I just, man, I was kind of tied up, bro. You know, yeah. You know, I was like, how are you tied up? Yeah. Per diem is the first thing you grab. I'm and I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to steal this food and <laughs> put it in my fridge. That's bro, when they told me that, and things that I learned, I cracked up, man. But I remember right when I turned around with the money, they're both looking at me like, because I heard the girl. You didn't pick up your per diem, you know? But I would find them all. <laughs> and then they're like, hey, man, if you're too rich, bro, I'll, I'll right. take that money because they know it's cash. Yeah. I'll take that money for you, you know what I mean? I'm like, shut up. That's so, great. great story, man. That's a great way to just, just. First. Yeah, just start yeah. I know uh, nothing, bro. I was like you guys, bro, knowing nothing. And I, 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 man, I totally love the story. I love how I went out, how it unfolded. Little kid, you know what I mean? Getting into a big business, motion picture, bro. I still don't even know the impact until it comes out. You know? When, when cousins are my hey, bro, man, where you at? <laughs> so my brother says, yeah, man, I'm doing a movie. They're like, yeah, okay. Yeah, right, <laughs> you know, right. like, yeah well, what kind of movie? You Are know you what I mean? Movie? Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> that thing with my wife's on the home, you know, over <laughs> the camcorders. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, all right, bro, whatever. And, uh, yeah, I'm telling them, yeah, yeah, man, I'm in Texas. What you doing down there, man? I'm shooting a movie, bro. Like, yeah, right. Uh, you know, or, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't even, I'm not understanding, bro. It comes out, bro, phone ringing off the hook, bro, right? Wow. Messages everyone from everywhere. Wow. Cousins in Hawaii. Man, I almost got in a fight with these assholes. And right when you came out, you're going, man, you know, in his family. Yeah. Hey, that's my cousin. Kids are like, that's Uncle Pete. Wow. My, my kids are like, that's my cousin. In Hawaii, yeah. what do they say? Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Everyone's your cousin, right? <laughs> and he's that. like, man, that's my cousin, bro. They're like, shut up, sit down, right? <laughs> he goes, yeah. he told me, shut up and sit down, but he said he was too excited. Yeah. He was like, well, you know, can you imagine, bro? So everyone all around, cousins all over Utah, Washington, Dude, you didn't tell when you know that one. Well, I'm glad you've seen it, bro. Oh, my God. You know, when we sat there, my aunts went, they're crying. They were, they were waiting, man, the credits were on. They were cleaning the theater. She wanted to sit on another city, right? Yeah, and I'm like, damn. So it was a cool, man. I'll tell you guys. So my career has been good, man. It's good to be at the Comic-Con. Uh, like you mentioned, you know, notable movies like you guys, like we all grew up. We all had that, all of us, bro, in our minds. There's certain movies and videos, bro, you remembered, you know, they become a part of your life. So for you guys who appreciate Street Fighter necessarily up this, it's, and you know, me being a, part, a small part of it, it's, it's uh, I'm the humbling, bro. It's humbling and it's cool, man. But it's thanks, man. You in person. Man, you guys, bro. Hey, I appreciate you guys, bro. 
Anytime. But thank, we want to thank we want to thank Peter. Thank we want to thank Orlando for for putting on this event because without this event, you know, in Orlando, we never would have got to meet you and all the great people that are here and everything. So yeah, I always want to give big thanks to Orlando and Fantasia Comic Con. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this it's interview as much as we did. Yeah, and we right. love we love talking with Peter. And if you guys ever get the chance to meet him at any of the conventions, I mean, you have to meet him. Yeah, He's a great him. guy. But uh, until next time, guys. Yeah.